Hello everybody, this is Manuel, Manuel Martel Photography. Today we're going to work in pictorial on this portrait. So I want to show you a little bit more how to work with uh, the smooth tool into pictorial. And I'm just going to point out I am a wildlife photographer. I do landscape as well. So I am not a beauty retouch expert by any means, but I'll show you how I go about to edit a portrait in pictorial. So I just reverted this image and we're going to work from photos in pictorial and we're going to start with a clean slate. Okay, so first uh, thing first, I like to take a look at the overall of the image. So I see in this image that the actual composition is right. I won't have to crop or rotate much. I like how blurry it is in the background. You get a bit of, uh, you know, a, it's kind of nice sharpen edge on this uh, frame there and if I zoom in a little bit on my model here I'm gonna work on a few things here so we're gonna work um, I'm gonna smooth the skin a little bit we're gonna look at getting rid of a uh, few things in perfection and we will sharpen it and make those eyes pop a little bit more so let's start with our model here we will go to a retouch and we will start with the smooth. So I will zoom in quite a bit. And what I will do is I will bring the edge edges to maybe 80%. So uh, pictorial knows that I don't want to choose the hair or the background when I do my pass. And I like the feather about uh, yeah 20% and the flow at 100%. Okay. And then I'm going to make my first passes here. So I'm going to go around and then try to leave the eyebrows out of it and I will really concentrate keeping the eyes out of it as well and I'll change my size my brush so always always try to change the size of a brush when you play and with your brushes that's my advice to you guys I always do that so I go around and then I'm gonna press command and I can click to move the image so I'm going to go around like this. I'm not going to choose the lips or anything, the mouth. I'm just going to try to go everywhere. If I'm not too sure, I'm going to press the O key. And really, then I can keep going around. And this is my selection so far. So first O again. It looks pretty good. This is all I wanted. So we'll play with the sliders here. So we have the texture, the structure, and separation. So I like to play with the slider at first when I don't know the software too well or the features. And I highly suggest you guys do that at home. Go around back and forth. So basically you can tell the texture is how much details I'm bringing back in there or how much smoothness I'm bringing back in there. So I think it was perfect where it was. If you double click onto the line there or into the name, it'll bring back the slider right in the middle. Structure, let's do the same thing here. So see now it's not affected the photo at all. And then we will bring this up to a place where we find it's decent and I play till I find it's good for me about 70 it's pretty good separation let's give it a shot too so see separation is another thing which goes slow uh, lower it blurry image a little bit so again I think it was pretty good at 4.1 so if you want to take a look at the before and the after you can either go here because we haven't done anything else and press the before and the after so see how the skin is so much smoother now we got rid of a little bit of unwanted detail in the face and then maybe structure it down to maybe 65% or 65 altogether. Let's do it again. Yeah, it's a little bit more natural this way. Or you can turn this off and on and I'll do the same thing. If you had other changes, you can just take a look. But do it this way. So I really like how the face look right now. Now the patch tool. The patch tool is we're going to go around and take a look if there's any imperfection we'll get rid of. For example, let's zoom in to do this so we don't take too, mu too, oh, sorry, too much out of it. So yeah, just press the space bar. If you press space bar, you go back to zoom to fit. And if you press again, you back to where you zoom. So the idea with the patch tool is you can draw. So I'm going to draw here, trying to. And you want to find somewhere which is not too far from where you draw. So it keeps the actual image 
natural. I'm going to go around. I mean, you can do a lot of those so you can get rid of a lot of imperfection in the skin. But some stuff are just natural and I like to keep in there. So you don't have to actually go around and change everything all the time, right? So it's uh, so like pretty good like this. I'm not going to do too much, but you can do a lot. You get the gist of it, what you can do, right? Okay, so we're going to zoom out. So command and minus. So that's your patch tool. So now, again, if you want to take a look at the before and after, you can turn that off and on. So we got rid of it, just a few things, minor things. Now for the eyes. So we will go to our tone. And the eyes, what we're going to do is zoom in. So we can actually take a good look at these beautiful eyes. Okay, so first come first, good flow, feather, 25% will work, and the edges, let's bring that again to pretty high, like 85% or so. So what I want to do here is I will brighten these eyes a little bit first. So I'll go around, when I brighten these eyes, I always try to leave the actual edges, the black edges, untouched, if at all possible. And I'll go around just like that. Okay, if I spill a little bit, so here's a trick for you guys. If you spill a little bit, if you press the Option Alt, it turns it to a minus. So that's your eraser. So see, I spill a little bit on the actual eyelid there, so I can actually press, hold the actual Option Alt key, and then go back and erase. So once again, use that technique of the two finger up and down on your trackpad to actually change the size of your brush. Now, this is a pretty awesome feature. Pictorial really nailed it on that one because when you do retouches like this you kind of need to have your brushes change size all the time so it's pretty awesome. So if you want to press O once again, oh you won't see very much there. Okay. Okay so now it looks pretty pretty good the selection so again if you want to zoom even a little bit more at home just take your time but you don't want to go too crazy. I'm just going to bring this up just a little bit. So it still look natural and she don't, won't look like a vampire or something like that. And the saturation, you can bring the saturation up a little bit too because she have beautiful eyes, the different color in there, just like that. Now I'm going to bring the stone and uh, collapse, sorry, the menu of the tone and I will bring the sharpen menu up. I'm going to do the same thing here. What we're going to do is just play around and sharpen these eyes. So we'll go around, I'm not playing the eyelid so much, and I will try to sharpen the eyes a little bit. And you'll see the fine do work a little bit, but what I find work best is the chorus for this. Because it does bring a little bit more of a contrast to the eye and a little bit of saturation as well. Okay. So if I go before and after, before and after, and before and after, see the difference in these eyes? They're popping so much more. Now if you think that you're not too satisfied with your brush or what you've done here, so you can always go back to your tone, press in this little button here so you're back in there, and then we can add a little bit more of the edges to it if you feel like you're missing out somehow. Or add a little bit more feather, and then it will be smoother to the edge. Actually, that work a little better this way. Here we go. Now we get rid of a little too much, so I'm going to come back with the minus, and I'm going to use my brush until I find a decent job there. Okay, so let's zoom out. Let's take a look. We're going to collapse this tone. Now that before and after, I can tell like a big difference, right? It's actually pretty good. Now if I zoom in, to your face just a little bit more before and after. Wow, so much, so much better. So that's what's good about pictorial. You can retouch portraits like a pro now. And it won't be too hard. The teeth, the teeth. Okay. What we're going to do here, again with the brush, we're going to, every time, by the way, that you close the tone and you open it again, you'll have a new brush, just to let you know. So we're going to bring the feather down to 25%. I like my feather around 25, not too strong. 
And then what we're going to do here is we're going to paint to make these. Uh, the, I don't want to bring the exposure up. What I want to do is desaturate. So I want to get rid of a bit of that color there. And again, with the edge pretty high, I will I will make a nice smooth selection for the lips. So I'm going to go. By the way, uh, my brush kind of disappeared there a little bit, but I'm still using it. So something that might happen to you that maybe something is going on with this version of Pictorial. I suppose they're going to fix that and update. Sometimes your brush just disappears. So just let you know if you do the uh, see the arrow. I'm still using the brush. Okay, so here we go. By desaturating, sometimes if you saturate too much, what's going to happen is it will look gray, and you don't necessarily want that. So one trick is we can bring this in the menu and choose the color mask. Color mask. So what we're going to do? Let's desaturate that to 100%. What we're going to do here is we're going to tell pictorial that we're only interested to desaturate the yellow bits out of the image nothing else so so we're going to play with these sliders until we find that area that's yellow and then we just desaturate a bit that yellow so they'll keep the other natural color there but only the yellow will disappear and if you want, you can add just a little bit of exposure. It won't look too weird in there. Oh, that's kind of looks a little funny there. So we won't do that. Okay. If I press O, we won't see it there. Okay. So let's just zoom out. So if we take a look at the before and after, our teeth a little bit wider, a little bit better. And here we go. So. You can go ahead and play with that quite a bit if you want to play with the makeup as well. You can go around, you can probably change the color of the eyes if you want to. So, a cool way you could do that go back to your brushes. Now, because I selected the eyes with that brush, you can go back and press on the brush. You can change the temperature of the eye, and you can really make those come a different color if you want them green, or you can really change whatever you want there, right? So we're not going to do that. We'll keep that natural state. Okay. So, so far we've done the before and after. So we've done everything I want to do on my model here. Eyes are popping up more. They're sharper. Uh, the skin is very smooth. We get rid of a few imperfections. And then our teeth are looking fantastic. So let's look at what we can do with the rest of the image. Which I'm, I'm not going to do a whole lot. Um, Maybe I'll play a bit of uh, split toning on this one. So we have the shadows here and the highlights. So highlights are a bright area, shadows are a darker area. So what I'm going to do is try to bring a little bit more blue perhaps into the, um, the actual shadow area. So let's bring the, the actual uh, saturation up a little bit. And then change the color and find that bluish color we want, which is probably around there. And with the highlights, we're going to bring this up a little bit. And I actually like this uh, orange-yellow there. It's pretty good. And we'll bring the highlights up to maybe here. And if you want to, you can play with the balance. So I actually like to play with the slider a little bit. If I bring the slider down, see it's not affecting your face so much. And it's very subtle if I were to before and after. If I press off and on, it kind of got rid of a bit of that green that was in the highlights there. It's a little warmer, and I really like this. So you can go overboard if you want to, and then really make cool uh, look to your photo. If you found that that's what you want to go for, that's fine. You play with this until you find happy. You find that you're happy. Okay. So we'll bring that. Oh, the saturation's way too high. Sorry right there before and after a slight little change and why not look at a vignette to finish this portrait here the way I work my vignette is pretty simple I bring it all the way up and then I can really see what I'm doing here I, would, I don't want to affect my model so much so I want this to be more on the edge of vignette so maybe like in a square like this if I bring this feather down to zero, we will, we're kind of looking what we're doing here. So 
do just like this when it's vignette. And we can change opacity from there. So that's the before and after. Just a little, just a little vignette that brings attention to the model. Okay. So really, this is all I want to do. So if I look at the before and the after, we didn't do a whole lot. It works pretty good. Now, if you think that our face is too much, another thing you can do here is go to retouch, go to smooth, and then bring it down just a little bit until you find. So you can always play with your slider back and forth like this. It's it's not a problem at all. Okay, so here it is. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna save the changes. We are going back to photos, and it is that simple. Here we go. Hopefully, you guys have a better understanding of the smooth tool. Again, I am not an expert at retouching models. It's not what I do. I'm an outdoor photographer myself, but that just proved that it is very easy to work with pictorial to retouch portraits. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to leave any comments, any questions in the section below. You can subscribe to my channel. Keep looking at different videos on pictorial. I'll make a few more. And if you have the desire to subscribe to my newsletter for my journal, you can read my new blogs or you can go and visit my website. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.